Well, hi there, everybody, and good Friday morning to me. You're all just Travis Klineski here. Uh, expecting a hot and humid day out there for the day today after it was very uncomfortable yesterday. It's probably going to be just as bad, if not worse, out there today. Already a warm and sticky start to our day for most of us. And we're going to see that humidity really pull, that moisture really pull just ahead of that cold front as that approaches uh, south central Nebraska later on today. So there could be a lot of moisture out ahead of that. So very uncomfortable, hot conditions well into the 90s, if not even some triple digit heat. But by late this afternoon, with all this instability and a frontal boundary in the area, we are going to have to watch for the possibility of maybe some strong to severe thunderstorms firing up late in the afternoon and especially heading into the evening and overnight hours. A better chance of rain than what we had yesterday and last night. Uh, so again, uh, we'll watch that now. Not everybody's going to get wet, but uh, those that do could see some heavy rain, slow moving thunderstorms of possibility. So uh, looking for some heavy rain as well as that severe weather threat heading through the overnight hours, even late into the night. Still a few showers and thunderstorms and then into tomorrow morning, it looks like we'll uh, start to dry things out, not completely, but at least a lower chance of showers and storms early tomorrow morning. But even during the day tomorrow, going to keep clouds around and a chance of some showers and storms, which will cool us down a little bit. It should be uh, still quite warm out there, but maybe not quite as hot as what we had out there, uh, or what we will have out there for Friday. It's still going to be quite muggy out there, and with that continued chance of showers and storms, at least a small chance of some severe weather. The Storm Prediction Center does have a slight risk of severe weather for a large portion of the viewing area from Norfolk to Albion to Ord, Broken Bow, Lexington, Smith Center, over towards the uh, Beatrice area and all areas in between. Right now it looks like large hail, damage winds, the main threat, a very small tornado threat. Same kind of story for tomorrow with the, those threats as we see that slight risk of maybe a, more, or a little farther to the north compared to today's and tonight's risk out there. So that's more for tomorrow and tomorrow night there in that second graphic. As for your temperatures for today, uh, lower to mid-90s up towards the north, mostly sunny. There's chances some storms will come in for tonight. Uh, low to mid, even upper 90s. If so, it gets warmer and warmer the farther south that you go. Mostly sunny, but some late-day thunderstorms are a possibility. We'll also see that late-day chance of a thunderstorm in the south. Could see triple-digit figures in north-central Kansas. Low to mid-90s around the Tri-Cities, though. Just a little cooler, but still very muggy out there. And then to the east, mostly 90s to near 100 degrees in Belleville, Kansas. Under mainly sunny skies. Your chance of rain will come in towards this evening. Rest of your seven-day forecast, a little cooler tomorrow, but still quite humid, so not that comfortable, really. In the back of the lower 90s for Sunday and Monday, the humidity is sticking around. Tuesday, 88, still more humidity out there, but a cold front is going to pass through during the day on Tuesday, and that should bring a little bit of relief. Not as much humidity for Wednesday and Thursday, and temperatures may be a few degrees cooler out there. As for your rain chances, well, still a decent rain chance after tonight, coming in for tomorrow and tomorrow night, and then it's more hit or miss showers and storms, mostly during the nighttime hours here for early to uh, middle portions of next week. Nothing that really stands out as being a great chance, but hey, at least there are still some chances in your forecast. So there you go. There is your forecast for today. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski, and I hope you have a great weekend.